well folks, what are we doing today? I'm now going to go to the auction and pick up some of my smalls I bought at the weekend. I'm not getting the big stuff today like the wood and the big cabinets because it's probably going to be busy up there today. I don't want to go down there in the big van and a trailer. So I'm just going to do down there in my little bilingo and pick up my smalls which are a little lathe. The Briggs & Stratton generator I'm going to try and get if I can get it in the van and a couple of other small bits. So, I'm going to go, well, going to go, going to go, what kind of language is that? I'm going to, next time you see me I'll be back and in here with the van, hopefully, and yeah, we'll have some stuff. So, we'll be back in a little while. Right, it's cold, I need my hat on. Here we go. Well guys, a couple of hours later, we are back. See what we got in there? Guess we better have a look, haven't we? Have a look, see what we have got in Man Cave's van. Alright, I'll put you here and we'll unload a bit of stuff. Oh, that silly reflection in that camera lens. I did order a new lens from a camera. They sent the wrong ones, guys. So what have we got? Well, Mrs. Mankay wanted this. She said that'll do for the egg building and the shed. So we've got a Uber. And it was a grand sum, I think, of two pound. Here I have uh, one drum of oil. Look at that. It is half full. Whew. 1540 diesel. Perfect for the old stationary engines. I know, you should have a solid 30 weight. Honestly, it's fine. Right. Half a roll of chicken wire. That's stored over here somewhere. Excellent. That's for when we do decide to get our chickens. I don't know what that bit of bar is doing in there. Right here. And I absolutely love this little thing. Ah, this is one of my stars of the show. The little lathe. Look at him. This is the little watchmaker's lathe. Isn't it just a beautiful little thing? Let's just hope the motor works. There we go. Robert Pringle and Sons. There we are. Right. We'll put it down here. Right. This generator. It's heavy. So I think, although it's on little caster wheels, I think I'm going to need some form of ramp. Oh, look how that left some fan belts wrapped around it for me. These are very handy. <sighs> I'm going to need some ramps to guide this down. Is there anything else I can be getting out? Hang on a sec. Uh, that's nothing. That's my little air compressor. I carry that in case I get a puncture. We have a winch, there it is. Hello, we have a winch, here he be. That's one winch, that's a little belt winch. This side, we have a hand winch. That's very handy as well. whole box of four inch grinding discs and if you're wondering how many's in there we'll have a look at them in a quite a few I think now then we have another drum which come with the oils but this is 
sodium, well, whatever that is. Sodium hype or something. Haven't got a clue what that is. Right, the only thing left in there is the generator. I think I need to find some ramps because that is bigger than I thought it was. It looks so much bigger in the van than it did sitting in the auction. But isn't that always the case? Right, here we go. Let's get you guys back here a little. We will get... I hate that reflection. I'm going to have to get out of the camera lens. We're going to have to get... And that is much bigger than I thought. In fact, that is quite the monster of a generator. Oh, I found another belt. Uh, let's put the belt back down here. Right. So, that is it. Van is empty. Uh, we have the beast. Here she is. This is really what I bought. This is the key thing that I wanted, because I really liked it. I haven't looked around this at all. It is a heavy monkey. I like the gas regulator, what's here. So I do need to get myself a propane tank so I can try starting this on gas. But it's also got the carb, so I think she'll go on petrol as well. Now then, shall we have a look around this? Because I haven't, apart from looking around the front of it, I haven't even looked at this yet. But it is quite the machine. <laughs> right, what I like is, it's IC. So it's got electronic ignition, which is good. 531cc, look, 3,600 RPM. It turns over with compression. And by looking at it, I don't think... It's done a ton of work. I will be honest with you. Oh, look, I see there's a starter motor on here. Look, I didn't notice that on the auction. This is electric start, guys. Where's that wire for the starter go? Look down here. Stop button. There's a key switch. Look at that. It's even got the key with it. Whoops. Look at that. I did not notice this on the auction. On start. And there's a start the other way as well. Well, look at that. It's even key start. So I'm assuming somewhere... Oh, here we go. Battery terminals. We have a battery terminal here and here, look. There we go. We have a pair of battery terminals. And I'm assuming this will be your output. Because we have a pair of sockets on there. We shan't do it in this video, but in another video, we'll do some checks on this thing. See if that'll start. That might be the next video. But, looking at it, I'm really impressed. It looks really good. It doesn't look like it's been touched in a long time. There's a lot of cobwebbage. Cool. Cool. Look at that, that plug even looks, it's a champion plug, and it even got the grey paint on, look. So is that an original plug, because I've still got grey paint. 
where they've just banged the lead on and sprayed over them, which is exactly how they did from factory. This has not been painted, it's original paint. I think <laughs> this thing will clean up an absolute treat. Here's the make. Alternator data. If you guys want to make any of this out, you can. There we go, a 6.5 kVA, single phase, 60 hertz, voltage 122.40. Where do you get your 120 out of it? Don't know, don't really care. Amps, 54.2 amps, power factor 1, whatever that means. But, there we go. <sighs> Let's have a look inside the petrol tank quick. Look in there, guys. Can you see in there? It is absolutely... Look at that. It is pretty much spotless. Let's look in that tank if we can. Look at it. This thing is pretty much spotless in that tank, look. There. So this leads me to think that this thing hasn't done a lot of work at all. Isn't that lovely? Now I know a lot of you are going to go, eh, bloody old thing. But I do like the big silence that someone's put on. That could make for some quite quiet running. There you go. But I do like how she's got electric start. Shall we just have a look at the oil level? Can we undo that? Cool! Cool, she ain't been undone in a while. Cool, she's undone. Have we got any oil? Oh, I ain't got a dipstick, look. That's just got the... Look at that oil. Clean as a whistle, look. The oil's not even black, guys. Honestly, that is clean. Oh, yes. That is clean as a whistle. So, we've got good oil. <sighs> Do you know, I reckon with some petrol on a battery... She'd start. Is she auto choke? Is it auto choke? So that'll do remote start. Or is this manual choke? No, it's manual choke. I really don't care though, because some of these with electric start, so they could start remotely. They would have a um, solenoid what activated the choke when the engine was cold. This is loose. That's all right. She's tightened up. She's good. I like how the gas goes on to that elbow there. So I think this is probably a factory gas conversion. But I don't know. Now there you go. So on another video, we will be getting that thing, seeing whack a battery on. Save me pulling my guts out, doesn't it? We'll get a battery on there and see what she do. We might do a little bit of recommissioning before we that. You know, do my normal plug out, a little bit of oil down the bore. Maybe get some WD in there and squirt that starter Bendix. Of course, she could be dry. I can't see any other outputs here for that 110 business. But I'm not worried. If she's wired for 240, we're in the UK. That's what we need. But this thing, absolutely love it. Right. Let's have a look at our cutting discs. Because I've been getting excited about that generator. Let's have a look about our cutting discs. <laughs> if you're wondering, that generator, uh, I believe... <coughs> <coughs> oh, I beg your pardon, I've got a bad cough. I believe I paid £65 for that generator, I think. And that was, there was 25% to go on that. These discs, I paid £25 for this packet of discs. But there is a lot. You know, I use cutting and grinding discs all the time. I mean, look at them. Well, there's even the leaflet in there, look, for safety. Look at these discs. I don't know how many. Well, these ones are a bit bigger, look. What are these? Four and a half inch and these are four inch? Uh, let's have a look. Oh yeah, these are four inch, look. And these are... Uh, 115. 
So I think these are five inch paps. I don't know. Either way, they'll all go in my little grinder. I don't know how many we've got here, but for 25 quid, there's a lot. What's there? Well, there's 22 here. Uh, oops. Find your pardon. 24 there. Oh, they're Gen Star tools. So we've got 24 of them ones. Oh, there's more of them here, look. Yeah, there's more of these here. About another 18 there. 24. About 40. About 47. These are big ones. I don't, probably won't use them. 47. Oh, there's a whole packet here. Look. What's there? A packet there. What's there? 20 in there? 60. Uh, we got some more here. Look. Whoops. A daisy. The tray has all fallen off, guys. Anyhow, I should say we're not going to go through all them. Whatever's this thing in there? What's that, guys? Come in this tray. Uh, that looks like some sort of playing and tool what you put in your grinder. But I don't know. I'd guess there's probably probably 200 cutting and grinding discs here. Probably 200. Oh yeah, there's loads and loads. So yes, I am more than happy with my purchase of all these grinding discs. 200 or so for 25 quid. You can't grumble. You really can't. Uh, I will have to just do a shatter test on some of them, but I don't think that I've been knocked and banged about, to be honest. I've all just been putting a... I've all just been putting the um, thing for the auction in there. I've all just been putting this box. There we go. There we go. We've got our good oil here, which is the 1540, and this is, like I say, half full. I don't know what the other stuff is. Now then, we'll take a look at my little lathe. Here we are. Here he is. Look at this. This was also, for me, star of the show. Now, I've cut the plug off, clearly, because this thing probably... Oh, I don't know. Has it passed a pat test? Oh, yeah. No, that passed a pat test in 2010. But the motor turns, the lathe turns. I absolutely love this little thing. Look at that little tool post holder, look. Little tool post holder there. So you can put your little bits on. There's even a couple, quite on stiff, a couple of little collet chucks, look. To put pieces in, we've got a couple of little collet chucks. So yes, I'm absolutely... Oh, you moved the whole headstock up and down as well, look. Isn't that nice? Yeah, this is a lovely little thing. Oh, look at that. Oh, you see that locks are in. So this does, this headstock will move up and down, look. So we can move our headstock up and down and our tail stock. Yeah, and that locks it. What a beautiful little thing with the variable speed pedal. This thing will work, guys. Of course it will. Of course it will. But there you go. Absolutely love that little thing as well. It does have a make on, whether that's the make of the lathe or just the motor. But if I zoom in here, Robert Pringle and Sons. 115th horsepower. Is that the make of the lathe or just the motor? I don't know. There might be a maker's name on this lathe somewhere. Or that could be a sawing machine motor that someone's put on. Do you know what I mean? Could be a sawing machine motor and pedal. Someone's just hawked on a bit of wood to run this little lathe. Shall we have a look see if we see a maker's name on this thing? I haven't seen one yet, a maker's name. The eagle-eyed among you. Might see a maker's name on here. But it is 
extremely nice quality. What a beautiful little lathe. Isn't that lovely? Oh, really quite. Look at the little tiny oilers, look. Little tiny oilers. So you can put your drops of oil in. A little tail stock to hold things with a little dead center in there. Oh, I love how you can just move your tool post up and down. Oh, you can adjust your angle on it as well, look. What a gorgeous little lathe, isn't it? Isn't that a little beauty? Someone's put a little polishing wheel in there, a little brass polish wheel in there. There we are. But there you go, guys. This is what we have collected from the auction today. I'm not going to show you the winches because they're just a pair of hand winches, which they were a tenner for the pair. I thought that'll do. That'll do. Right, this is all the big stuff collected. Oh, the little stuff, sorry, collected. We will have to go back maybe tomorrow and get the wood, the cabinets, and some other various tins and a pallet full of paints, oils, and varnishes. Ah. But for now, guys, that's going to be it. So, we will be back another time for another video ah. there we are right I'll see you next time guys thank you very much for watching like and subscribe see you later I'm really loving this generator down here such a beast bye bye for now Ah, 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 and by the way, by the way, spec number on this, before I go, the code 79053.11, so this is 1979, isn't that brilliant, ah.